Hi, beloveds, and happy Monday. Welcome back to a, another weekly inspiration with me, your host, Tanya Melendez. I am so grateful for this week of Thanksgiving. I've got this big change and shift going on in my life, and we've got a full moon too. So let's pray it up, and then let's see what the tarot have to say. Again, just again, this attitude of gratitude this week and beyond this week. You know, this season of holiday is not about again. It's not about the 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 gifts that we give. It's about the. It's not about the gifts that we receive, it's about the gifts that we give. So it's really about the kickoff of this energy, of this attitude of gratitude. And so with that, I just want to take it to prayer, going right into my prayer fingers, just knowing right here and now, all that is, all that will be, and all that ever was, is all that is right now. And I know that this isness, this all, this light, this love is God. And so I recognize and know that I am one with God. And as I know, I am one with God. I know each and every person watching this video and listening to this message is one with God. So I bless us this week and I bless our body temples, our minds, our bodies, our spirits. I bless all of our loved ones, families, friends. I bless everyone's travels. I bless our food. I bless our bank accounts. I bless our plants and our pets. I bless it all, calling it all good, calling it all God. How grateful I am to be grateful. How grateful I am to be of service, to share, and to shine. For this and so much more, I release, I let go with gratitude and love in my heart. And so it is. Amen. Amen. So you guys, so this week kicks off a lot of change. So we've got a full moon on Wednesday and this full moon, again, it's going to be in Gemini. So it's going to show the dark side as well as the light side. So you might have been feeling this lately. There's two sides of you that are playing out right now and which one is winning. So it's important that you check in. And this is also a very potent full moon for manifesting your dreams. So plant those dream scenes, beloveds. This is absolutely the time right before the end of the year because guess what next month's full moon is on new year's eve or christmas eve so it's going to be a very special gift and i want to remind you guys i will be kicking off byob be your own beloved i will be kicking out more details of that right after thanksgiving once i get settled in mexico so yes i will be in mexico as of thanksgiving so i can't wait to share and shine and serve and share that journey with me as i I do my work in a spiritual community. So looks like the tarot have spoken. I'm going to see what they have to say for us this week of Thanksgiving. It's going to be my first one as a full-blown vegetarian or pescatarian, so only eating fish. Um, and I'm, I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to it. I've really been enjoying all the delicious food and you know it'll be great again to be in an inch in, in a different place and see what that looks like somewhere else or even if they celebrate it and what I'll be eating and things like that so I'm looking forward to the adventure so okay tarot have spoken beloved so the first card we get here is the seven of swords seven is a highly spiritual number and so it's really talking about minding your mind allowing yourself and again seven chakras this is about balancing your chakras this is about also the seven you know main archangels there are a lot of other archangels yes and so i honor all of our archangels however the main ones are again the seven. So seven has a very high vibration with the swords. What it's saying here now is leave what needs to be left alone, alone, cut it off, let it go, forget about it, and take what you need. So the thoughts that are taken from you, leave them where they are. This could be around family. Remember, it's about to be Thanksgiving and you're going to be spending a lot of more time with family. Or this could be about an attitude, an idea about who you thought you were or who you thought you wanted to be and how that might be changing. Because sometimes we know who we want to be and who we thought we were and we're so scared to be that other person. So allow that other person to shine. Because again, like I said, this full moon is about this twin side, which is why we get the two of rods. Rods represent fire and spirit. So we're in between our dark side and our light side. It's okay to have these dark feelings, but where do you go with them? Do you let them destroy you or do you let them, you know, deliver you to a higher vibration? Do you go backward or do you go forward? Do you know what I'm saying? 
don't let these negative feelings hold you back. So that's what this card is saying. You've got the whole world in your hand. You got the whole world in your hand. I used to love that song as a little girl. Okay, and then you get the sun. And so we get the sun. So it is a positive card. It is about, again, shining that light, being of service. Again, the sun, a male energy, strong, strong energy here. And again, very bright, very light happening. But again, where is the light? Where are you shining the light? What are you paying attention to? Because whatever you're putting your attention on always grows. So these are some very powerful cards for us this week. The message is clear. We have to really be minding our mind, staying in this attitude of gratitude, focusing on that which we want to, you know, come forth in the world in our life and not what we don't because what we're focusing on always grows and expands so what we want is time to grow that's what the sun is saying and again with this full moon on you know right before christmas and you know the time of resurrection and the time of this new energy why not have a different kind of holiday and that's what byob is all about be your own beloved it's really about you embracing the gift of yourself and loving yourself so much because one of the most important things is you cannot believe in God if you don't believe in yourself first. So let's start with you, beloved, so you can then be connected to the beloved. So details about that are coming up very, very soon. I cannot wait to share that with you, as well as the upcoming Virtual Psychic Summit Angels Among Us coming in January. So, so much going on, but this week I'm taking it easy, and I hope you do too. Enjoy time with friends and family, making new ones and going new places. And I send you so much love and light beloveds. So until next time, know that you are love, you are light, and you are oh so blessed. Until next time, beloveds, peace and blessings. Namaste.